I'm a little nervous. I don't know what it is about public speaking that makes you have to take a but I couldn't. I couldn't. It sucks. I'm uh, originally from Detroit. Um, I'm just going to start to show off with an apology for the black people. I will try to throw in a finna and a what what. And for the white people, I don't know why I have this Ann Arbor accent. I will try to say yo every now and again. But... <laughs> But I am from Detroit, born and raised, and it's, it's funny. Detroit has this crazy stigmata. People from outside of the state always come to Detroit and expect to see something like wild and crazy outside of the ordinary. I'm with a friend of mine, and she's from uh, North Carolina, and we're driving down downtown Detroit, and I'm showing her the sights. Oh, that's Ford Field, and, you know, that's, you know, a giant fist. I don't know what that means, but it's a giant fist, and it's there. And she taps me on the shoulder, and she's like, oh, what is that? Is that, is that a hooker? And I look over my shoulder, and I'm like, She's on a bus stop with a Myers bag and a baby. It's not a f***ing hooker. You're crazy. Insane. Uh, but I, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm getting old. I feel I'm getting old. I'm in my late 20s now. And I don't notice a lot of changes in me, but in my friends. All of my friends are getting married. I know what you're thinking. Poor Jeff. Always the bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> Women, though, they're smart. Women know how to change a man without the man even realizing it. And I, I, I truly believe, women, give it up for yourselves because you're truly smarter than we are. Give it up. You know it. You know it. Nothing better shows this than when, let's say, for example, a, a man catches his woman cheating. Poof. Shawanda, get that out of your mouth. What are you doing? It's over. It's over. And they storm out of the room. It's it. Same relationship. A woman would forgive her man. Six months, a year goes by. It's 3 a.m. on a cold December morning, and she rolls over and taps him on the shoulder and says, Honey, I'm hungry. Could you get me some ice cream? I'm tired, baby. I don't want to. But you went too tired to, that, the other day. You went too tired to bang that chick last year. Now, what's you? See, they know how to take out of the guilt bank when it needs to make a withdrawal. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> but, uh,. I've been watching a lot of TV. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of uh, reality television. And uh, nothing better shows the decline of our civilization than Fear Factor. Have you guys seen the show, Fear Factor? It's, oh, my gosh. I need you to swim through this pool of syphilis, wrestle these wild monkeys, and then 18 yak <laughs> <laughs> Along with that, I love watching movies. Uh, when I feel down and out and... Uh, Reality in life has got me down. I like to imagine myself playing, you know, high-risk money games, like board games with celebrities, like $1,000 a piece, me playing Michael J. Fox in a game of Operation. <laughs> I got the funny bone, Mike. Your turn. And, oh, baby, you lost again. You know, but I'm sorry, Mike. I, I do love Back to the Future, though. That's a great movie. I think one of his best films... Uh, it's funny how people look at movies. It's a cultural difference. Okay, I was watching Back to the Future with a buddy of mine, and he's like, Jeff, wouldn't it be cool to, you know, go back in time? And I'm thinking, eh, no, no. I mean, slavery, Jim Crow, lynchings, the furthest I go back in time is 1998, and that's just to clear up some bad credit. <laughs> I'm Jeff Washington. This has been my time. Thank you, guys. <laughs>